I'm off to the um, second job today and we are going to be um, looking at um, trying to work out where the bridge trusses are still happening in engineering today. We're looking for old examples of it, new examples. So um, I'll be riding from um, Cogra to Balmain to the um, to Callum Park, which is an old mental asylum. And we'll be just seeing whether we can find examples of um, that type of engineering. The old Brighton Fishers Club, which is presently not operational, with the Cooks River. And there's our first bridge, and it looks like it's just uh, your standard reinforced concrete type bridge, um, which seems to be either we either get pre stressed concrete or um, reinforced concrete bridges um, for more recent bridges, and you don't see as much um, truss construction. But I will show you some truss construction that is recent on this ride. Um, another bridge, as you can see, it's just a pedestrian bridge on the um, cycle path that runs on the Cooks River, and it's got some rather large I beams made out of steel. I beam is a lot stronger a cross section than uh, just a flat piece of steel, and some concrete reinforced supports, but it is not a truss bridge. Oh no. It's the M5. How will I get through? Well, I was saying, how am I going to get through the M5? Well, this is how I'm going to get through. Another bridge, so pretty stressed concrete. And um, you can see up there, those little black um, sections. As you can see under each one of those beams is actually rubber. So it's a way of stopping the whole thing from vibrating and causing structural problems. And um, we have some sort of um, pit here for stormwater. And right next to this, we have this beautiful area that's um, all wetland. And once upon a time, there was a really fantastic walk through here, which has been shut. And I'll show you why in a second. Actually, I'll correct that um, comment. It was shut for a while. I think it's now open again. There's the bridge, so another bridge. We've got all of this beautiful um, marshland. And at one point in time, the um, pedestrian bridge, which is that bridge there that runs here, um, was too high. And when you actually, you could actually get in there and um, walk underneath the M5, but you're literally there's literally three or four foot of clearance so it looks like they've lowered one section of it now and you can still get across to the other side and on the other side here of the M5 we've got all the tunnel works happening for all the uh, extensions to M4 and M5 Here we have a giant mound of dirt. That's all the dirt that's coming out of the tunnels. Once again, it's always wonderful to get up this time in the morning and avoid the traffic. Bridge. Oh, over there in the distance, that uh, tower. It's actually a water tower. They pump the water to the top of it because this area is quite flat. It keeps the water pressure. And this wonderful bike and pedestrian bridge, for years and years and years, it didn't have anything on it. It was just a big concrete shell. It was actually designed to carry all the services for uh, the city, gas, water, electricity, all that sort of stuff. And it ran next to the road bridge. And I always thought when I saw it, Gee, that would make a very pedestrian and cycle bridge and someone obviously had the same idea. And off in the distance there, you can see the railway bridge and we'll be going under that shortly. And then look at uh, how that's put together.
And this is our um, railway bridge. And we're going to have a look at underneath this because I'm pretty sure that this is a type of truss bridge. Okay, not necessarily a, a truss bridge as such, but um, it's actually steel I beams on a lot of pylons, which is why we need all these pylons because it's not a pure truss. But we do have an X brace, which is a form of truss that um, exists between those um, I beams. These are the big I beams here. They're called I beams because if you if you were to slice them. in the city and so on and um, yeah so that's the type of bridge we have here so it's quite old and it's I-beam and with, with some cross braces but uh, we'll see some truss bridges proper truss bridges shortly another bridge this is our first uh, proper truss bridge we've got um, some brick and concrete arches but uh, this section here is called a brown truss. You can see it's got uh, top and bottom cords. The top cord is the, the one at the top there, the beam that runs across the top, and that's the bottom cord. And all these things in the middle here are trusses. And they make the whole thing very, very strong. And these pipes, I am assuming, are carrying sewage. And the way I'm assuming that is that uh, you can see these really tall pipes with these um, rotating um, wordy gigs on top and they're sucking the uh, gases, noxious gases out. They need to be nice and high I'm assuming because otherwise people are going to be smelling what's coming out of there. So that's our um, first truss bridge. This is our view from the bottom. I think this may be another how truss bridge but at any rate it is a truss bridge and um, we're going to go in here and have a look. Doesn't say I'm not allowed to go in here, it just says you have to check before you do any work so I'm not breaking the law. Um, so we're just going to have a look in here. That is an original truss bridge. Over here it looks like um, we have a truss bridge but it's also reinforced on the outside with solid panels of steel. That may actually have been work that's been added later on to reinforce what was there. If we come down here, we've got some old uh, steel work. And this is the um, light rail going by and that's the um, original truss, or what's left of it. And you can see that it stops just there. So they've left it here as a, a reminder of what used to be here and the railway line was obviously a lot lower. And uh, not as busy. And here we have a, um, a stormwater tunnel and lots of really quite wonderful and radical um, street art. And you can tell this is the main line for Sydney because the trains just keep coming. Another bridge. Bridge! Another one in the distance. They're everywhere. More bridges. And a very, very crappy bridge across the uh, Cooks River. This one's earmarked to be replaced. It's falling apart. But you can see between those um, pylons that there is some um, trusses to hold them together to stop them from sagging apart. So even in a bridge like this, you'll see them. 
Church! And here we have a pedestrian bridge. And if you look carefully, you can see between those pylons, um, trusses holding them together once again. And uh, in the background, some of the uh, old pylons that have uh, been put out of service. Bridges, bridges, bridges. Too many bridges. Bridge. Another bridge. For anyone who's watching this video and thinks that uh, trust bridges have maybe had their day, this is a brand new pedestrian bridge on the um, path leading up to the Bay Walk at Iron Cove. And um, it is a How Trust bridge. Um, so a blast from the past. Obviously when bridges get small enough and they don't have to carry as much weight, um, the price of building a concrete one, pre-stressed concrete, becomes prohibitively expensive and um, we revert back to um, this type of technology. So it's still being used today. A Howe Trust bridge built out of steel. And um, this is the uh, pedestrian Howe Truss that uh, I was just talking about. If this bridge was uh, a lot longer and a lot larger, it would probably have a rolling support at one end and it would be fixed at the other. Um, but it's fixed at both ends, but um, you can see that that bolt is fitted through a slot So there's a little bit of room for it to expand and contract it should it need to and it's also sitting on rubber which allows for expansion and contraction and also for vibration, so um, That's the way they're dealing with any um, changes in dimensions due to heat But uh, yeah, as I said um, You still need to know your engineering for this type of um, application and later on I'll show you an application that's still being used all over Sydney but not in bridges. And this is that horrible road that runs past our school, the Parrot Doesn't Matter Road and um, this is crossing the canal and if you look up here we have our light rail station that crosses Parramatta Road and that bridge is a truss bridge, so I'll try and get a closer look at that one. A bit hard to see, but that um, that's the road that crosses Parramatta River, sorry, Parramatta Road, the road bridge, and it's um, looks like it's um, pre-stressed concrete. And then the old railway bridge is a truss bridge. It's very hard to see because uh, it's a bummy, but it's definitely a truss. And to look at like rail station, and it actually built out extensions and steel, so the bridge is strong enough to keep. Um, as, a, as a, a working bridge, even though it's been here for a I have to ask the really obvious question why would anyone drive a car? I think I'm going to get home before they do. I'm um, in the background there, you've got that bridge I was just talking about, and um, it looks like it's a how truss bridge again and uh, very vintage but still being used so um, yep they're still around and uh, after that long cycle I've made it to work and uh, as you can see in the uh, workshop we have here um, in the roof these are trusses so obviously they're not the bridge trusses they are roof trusses and any pitched roof that you've got um, has to carry a lot of weight. Quite often if it's got ceramic tiles it's, it's a very heavy heavy load to carry and um, by using trusses we're able to span the distance between the two walls. Um, in this case because it's a very large area we do have a couple of um, pylons as well, pillars, but uh, yeah we use a roof truss. It's another use for a roof truss. Another reason why for an engineer that you need to know how to uh, calculate what's going on in this type of structure. So um, there you have it. I'm back at um, my real day job now. Um, that was a 22 kilometer uh, bike ride and over the 22 kilometers 
you can see that there was an amazing amount of um, bridges. So you can see how important bridges are in, um, in a big city. Um, in fact, without them, um, the city wouldn't operate. And um, obviously, there's huge amounts of engineering that goes into these structures to make sure that they can carry the weights that are required and be safe to travel on. And um, I, by all means, did not show you all of the bridges that I passed. Um, if I'd done that, uh, the video would have been even longer. But um, I hope you've learned a little bit about um, the importance of uh, bridges and that trust bridges are still um, important and certainly the idea of a truss and how it operates is going to be used in engineering uh, maybe forever. Um, and um, we're going to have a go at building that type of bridge um, and um, we're going to see how, uh, how different types of trusses can carry different weights and we're going to learn all about it in a practical way. So I'll see you in class. Bye.